how we do that, let's go to Edmonton Calder. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this government is leaving the frontline staff to prop up the Misericordia Hospital in Edmonton while the facility crumbles around them. Last month, the CBC released photographs showing a building hardly built for habitation, let alone hospital work. Staff complain about the intensive care unit, meant to be only there for two more years. It's still in use after 13 years. To the Minister of Health, why is there no immediate action for the Misericordia Hospital in this year's budget? Well, Mr. Speaker, there is immediate action for the Misericordia Hospital, and as I'm sure all other members in this House, particularly from the Capital Region, know, the Misericordia is one of our oldest and uh, one of the proudest hospitals that we have in the city. Mr. Speaker, a total of $19 million has already been allocated for a critical infrastructure repair at the Misericordia. I have asked Alberta Health Services to work with Covenant Health to identify what other resources may be needed in the next five years. This budget was needed to use it as a starting point to start building a new hospital at the Misericordia. The patients and their families know how bad this, the hospital is. They see it every day. Staff working in the ICU unit certainly know how bad it is. Why is this government subjecting Albertans to dangerous and unhealthy conditions at the Misericordia Hospital in Edmonton? Well, Mr. Speaker, that, uh, that last statement is patently untrue and completely irresponsible. The care that is provided at the Misericordia Hospital is safe care. It's of high quality that is comparable to any other hospital in this province. Mr. Speaker, we know, and the Honourable Member, as an MLA in this city, should know that the City of Edmonton is going to need additional hospital capacity in the very near future. We're working on that, Mr. Speaker. I'm working on that with the Minister of Infrastructure. In the meantime, we are flowing very significant funds to Covenant Health to keep the facility running and in good repair. Final supplemental. Mr. Speaker, the physical structure of this hospital requires immediate attention. By any measure of logic or science or health, this facility does not make the grave. Will the minister please tell us what motivates this government to ignore this sad state of this Edmonton hospital? Is it politics, money, denial? Why don't you just fix the hospital? Well, Mr. Speaker, we are fixing the hospital. Instead of spending our time, as the Honourable Member is doing, attempting to scare patients and staff and bring the facility into disrepute, Mr. Speaker, $19.2 million as a contribution to critical infrastructure repair is a very significant contribution. There are other facilities uh, across the province that also have needs, Mr. Speaker. We're working to address all of those. Edmonton will see a new hospital, Mr. Speaker, in the very near future. And as I said, I'm working with the Minister of Infrastructure on that very issue right now.